Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Infinity playthrough. We're here, ready to go ahead and take down the fifth gym leader in this region, or should I say Eco Council member, as we are ready to go ahead and grab ourselves our fifth badge. Now, our team is a little bit interesting for this. I could have brought many, many, many Pokemon with me to help me out against this incredibly likely water type team, and instead what I have done is I have replaced Uzma with a baby. And my reason for this is I kind of wanted to see what Gargon was like when it evolved, and that was it. That was as far as my brain cells got. It's not very far, but it was an adamant nature on one of them that we caught. It's got a good attack stat. I wanted to try and get this thing leveled up. Uzma is a Pokemon that was not going to be super useful against the water types anyway. Let's be real, it is a rock and fire type, and that is a recipe for disaster against that type of team. So it's not like we're really losing a team member because I don't think we'd be able to bring it out anyway. But regardless, uh, three of our Pokemon are going to be incredibly useful for this as Joltalope is electric and grass. That is our bread and butter for this fight. Juniper is a grass type and Jiffy is a water type with electric type moves as it does have discharge. So between those three, I hope that we can get most things out of the way. Giragira and Terraflak can come out if there is anything that is somewhat neutral for them. Giragira, I imagine there will be some neutral stuff. Terraflak might not come out in the fight, which will make me sad because I like saying Bone Sweep Sweep. But Gargon's going to be on the team for a little bit as we head down towards Chad, as he is down there and not up here. I feel like I checked this at the end of, uh, maybe not the end of last episode, but definitely in between episodes. I did also go ahead, get all of the EVs hatched, and I think I have every single item. I have decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the whole EV into every evolution in a separate video that I'm going to do as more of a guide video for people that come to Pokemon Infinity rather than just adding it in halfway through the playthrough because that way I feel like more people will be able to see it and it will be more useful. Uh, it's not very often I do like useful tutorial-ish videos but that might be one that I actually like set aside and do separately as it just makes a lot of sense. So now that I've rambled and stalled long enough it's time to get absolutely wrecked by this water type user huh? Hello Chad. Hey there, the name is Chad, youngest Ego Council member in Ego history. Not sure why people still refer to us as the Ego Elders, I've obviously disproven that title. I'm sure I got voted in by the people of Ego on account of my great swimming. Yup, I'm sure that was it. I know how to swim, float, dive, drown, wait. And flounder. <laughs> wait. <laughs> I don't- I don't- I mean, I guess it's good to know how to drown so you can prevent it. Yeah, okay, you know, no, that makes sense, that makes sense. And that's just in the water. You're here to see me? Just be trying to get the title badge so that you can traverse the high seas. Are you ready for a battle with another member of the Ego Council? I, I think so, I think so. Hang ten, little dude. Time to get serious. Hang ten. I haven't heard that in a while. I don't know so much, <laughs> much surfer lingo. I would love to be informed on all of the surfer lingo. Level 60 Politoed as the first thing that comes out. That means his ace will be higher than me, but it means the rest of my team should hopefully be on par. That's that's okay. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm considering whether I want to set up a Thunder Wave if I think there's going to be a lot of healing used on this. If there's healing, it's probably a full store anyway. I guess we just Horn Leech. Try and recover some HP if we're ever uh, getting hit by moves. Ice Beam? Yeah, that makes sense. This is gonna hurt a lot. Our special defense is not good. That- this is gonna be a tough fight if every Pokemon has Ice Beam. Let me tell you that right now. This is gonna get real tough. Also, if there is a land turn in this fight, uh, that means the Blastoise is gonna be in a situation with Electro-type moves. If they have Ice Electro-type moves, our team is in some trouble. Full Restore. Okay, that was an early Full Restore. This is actually best case scenario because I have Horn Leech. Oh. Well, it's still not a terrible situation. I was going to say we have Horn Leech so we can just continuously heal up with each Full Restore usage, but okay, never mind. We're going to get a crit. I'm actually unhappy about one of my crits for once. This does happen from time to time. Uh, about to send in Floatzel. Is that also going to Ice Beam me? Or Ice Fang me. I feel like it is. I'm going to go into Jiffy, I think. Juniper would also be fine. Both of them are fine. 
Kira also might also be fine. I'm not super afraid of it. I'm gonna go into Jiffy. I think Jiffy will be fine. We can just go ahead and discharge. Uh, we also don't set up the rain because it was already raining, wasn't it? So I don't know if that message actually mattered. I don't think the rain refreshes with Drizzle. Waterfall. In the rain. So basically just like a neutral move. It's fine. Kind of cancels itself out. And Discharge does paralyze. Nice. Nice. Are you going to use another force Storm because you're paralyzed? Withdrew. To go into Skullcracken. We saw this thing a little bit earlier in the playthrough. This was a water and steel type, I believe. So we're kind of in with the right thing, I guess, because we do resist water and steel type moves. I'm afraid of it having an electric type move because it was brought in against Jiffy. I could do the silliest thing imaginable right now. If I predict an electric type move <laughs> from this thing that has no yellow on its body, no evidence pointing towards any electric type move whatsoever. But if I go into Terraflack and take an electric type move and return with a bone sweep, do you think this is do you think I can say bone sweep sweep? I have a problem. <laughs> I have an actual problem. But I wanna say bone sweep sweep. We're going into Terraflack. I don't know if there's another Pokemon that'll come out where Terraflack will be useful anyway. Giga Drain. Well that's not. Ow, that was a crit. Which means we can live another one so I can stay in and Bone Sweep Sweep. It's also paralyzed, so it might hit itself, uh, or it might not be able to move. It wouldn't hit itself, it's not confused. Um, it, it, I can Bone Sweep Sweep. Bone Sweep Sweep. Bone Sweep Sweep. Bone Sweep Sweep. I have a problem. I can't stop myself from saying it. It's stuck in my head. It is now the only thing that goes into my head when I'm playing Pokemon Infinity, and this is an issue. Uh, but we do take out the Skull Kraken with Terraflack, which makes me happy. Joltalope is trying to learn Retaliate, and that is not a move that I want it to learn. I actually kind of like its moveset right now. I don't know if there is anything that I would rather swap around. Uh, if Floatzel is going to come back out, I'm just going to go straight back into Jiffy, because Jiffy can two-shot that with Discharge, so there's no reason for me to change up the strategy now. The only thing that can make me change up the strategy is going to be an Electro-type move, basically. Other than that, Jiffy is good to go. Jiffy's typing, very dangerous. But against a lot of things, pretty good. Uh, that stat distribution is so even. I kind of love it. Kingdra. That might make me swap out as well. Uh, what would be the best way to deal with a Kingdra? I don't think we have anything super effective for a Kingdra on us right now. Technically, Gargon has Dragon Glob. I don't think our level 45 little little baby is going to be doing much to a Kingdra. Um, I guess Juniper is probably the best bet. You know, resisting Dragon and all, whereas nothing else on our team resists Dragon. It's not like a perfect matchup, but it's a defensive matchup, and that's fine. Level 66. Kingdra is a Pokemon that is actually very scary, depending on what it wants to do. If this thing Dragon Dances, I am slightly afraid. If this thing Draco Meteors with uh, Scope Lens, I am afraid. So Focus Energy, Scope Lens, Kingdra with Draco Meteor would probably be the better of the two. Dragon Dance would be scarier because I don't know how much damage I'm going to do to this. I mean, I'll probably do like a quarter, but still, that means it could get up like two dragon dances and then start waterfall flinching me, and I don't like that. But I guess we'll see. Oh, okay. 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 I predicted that well. Um, hmm. The good side. We are defensive. And its speed increase from Dragon Dance didn't matter all that much. So at least it's not like a Swords Dance or a Belly Drum or anything like that. It's just plus one attack. Bad side. It can do it again. <laughs> um, we Horn Leech again. Dragon pu Wait, what? Why would you ever go for Dragon Pulse with a Dragon Dance set up? Just use Agility at that point. Dragon Dances again. I'm significantly less afraid the second time after I saw it go for Dragon Pulse. 
it could still have a full restore in the back. It doesn't. Outrage. Okay, see, that's actually scary at plus two. That's actually scary at plus two. See, if it had gone for that, like, a little bit earlier, that would have been a little bit more scary. But no, it just threw in a random Dragon Pulse, which I fully appreciate, actually. It made that way easier. Gargon gains a level. It also didn't go for water-type moves in the rain and stuff like that, which is crazy to me. Uh, slow bro. Garagira might be able to fight that, and then we can preserve the HP on the rest of our team, because we don't know what the last Pokemon is. So I think we should be fine just going to Garagira. We can uh, bite flinch, because we should outspeed. I could also set up a Home Claws. I'm just going to bite and see how much damage it does. I imagine it'd be like a 3-hit KO. 2-hit KO? Oh, because we get a crit. Scald, no burn, no burn, no burn, no burn, no burn. That did a lot of damage, actually. I'm not going to let Gira, Gira go down for nothing. I'm just going to go back into Jiffy and we're going to discharge, because hitting Slowbro on the special side sounds smart to me. We make it rain with Drizzle again. We are really uh, helping him keep the rain up, and that is entirely my fault. I should probably just be going into Joel Slope more, but I keep bringing in Jiffy. Wow, that did nothing. Wow. We still don't get burnt by Scald, which is nice. I'm going to just discharge again. Oh. Lapras. Paralyze. Okay, you know what? I, he didn't get the burn with Scald. That's fair. Uh, Lapras, another one that we don't have too many things that are super great against it. Because, uh, you know, we're not great against Ice. But I guess we're going to go into Juniper. I guess we're going into Juniper, so we're at least neutral to ice. Waterfall. That is fine. That is fine. That did a lot of damage, actually. This is another Pokemon that could Dragon Dance on me. So I do have to be slightly aware of that, but also we actually have to heal. I don't heal my Pokemon very often. I am actually aware of this. <laughs> I, I only tend to heal my Pokemon when everyone is like down to one HP. And it is a bad habit of mine that I've started doing lately. And I don't know why. You'd think with all the Nuzlocks that I do, that I would just be like, hey, I'm going to keep everyone nice and healthy. But the second that I'm not doing a Nuzlocke, I, I'm just like, I'm throwing all of my Pokemon to the wind. If they make it, they make it. If not, too bad. <laughs> Uh, Hornley should do a good amount of damage, though. That's a very good amount of damage. There we go. That's like a two-hit KO, basically. And that's going to bring us back to full. And we should have no more real issues. Just Waterfall spam. I wonder if it's Choice. It's probably not Choice Scarfed, because I imagine if it was Choice Scarfed, it would outspeed Juniper. I wonder if it was Choice Banded. It's possible. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, either way, Slowbro shouldn't have any issues dealing with this. We're just going to Joltalope and go ahead and slap it with a Horn Leech or a Thunder Punch. Uh, it's actually got more HP than I remembered. I thought it was like a third, but still, Horn Leech should be fine to do a good amount of damage. That did nothing. Did I just throw Joltalope away? Window Berry. Only for it to miss Fire Blast. Joltalope should probably have gotten annihilated there. It probably should have been annihilated there. I did not expect a Rindo Berry Slowbro. That is a new one to me. <laughs> Rindo Berry Slowbro. But we do make it. We do make it. Totally tubular battle. Gnarly waves. I now know Surfer Lingo. Just like that. And Gargon is evolving. Why does it look so so small it's going into edgy teenage years is that what's happening oh that is a hundred percent edgy teenage years okay <laughs> yes <laughs> yes is the answer okay into war done wants to learn dragon pulse it is an adamant nature and we already have dragon claw so i actually don't care for dragon pulse whatsoever also having hyper voice and uproar Oh, Uproar is only base 60 power in this game, not 90. So, yeah, there's no reason to have Uproar. I'd rather have Dragon Pulse, I guess. Just in case something sets up uh, six six defense curls and growls me six times. Then, you know, Dragon Pulse would probably be better. If we were battling in the water, it would have been a totally different outcome. I added totally in there. Now I really am the surfer. But, according to Ego Challenge rules, the battle must be on land to prevent people from drowning. That's... 
That's that's fair. That's that's fair. I yeah, okay. Real buzzkill that I'm trying to have amended. <laughs> but whatever. Either way, you beat me. So here's your rightful badge. The title badge. It would be kind of funny to make people fight in the water to get the badge to surf, though. It would it'd be kind of fitting. I'm also going to give you this. It's TM101. It allows a Pokemon to surf on the surface of the water. Nice. Nice. Badge you won also allows you to use surf outside of battle, which means you can traverse some bodies of water. The rules are simple. If it's outside and clear enough to see through, you're allowed to use surf on it. Water in caves or ones that aren't clear are off limits for surfing. Water in caves you can't surf on? I'm going to surf on them anyway, but interesting. Don't ask me why it's such specific water. I think it has something to do with the aesthetic or whatever. I hope you enjoyed today's swim lesson. Please leave me a positive review in the boathouse. Can I actually go and leave him a positive review in the boathouse? Because I'll do it. I'll go and leave him a positive review. <laughs> How do I do it? Is it with the gold duck? Are you here to give him a good review? We don't really keep track of reviews, so I'm not sure what he's talking about. Oh, I tried. All right, I want him to know that I tried. Okay. It didn't work, but I tried. Uh, right, there was also the Lapras thing. Lapras finds shelter in the caves off the coast of Ego. We've even heard that there may be a shiny one among the pack. I would like a shiny. Um. I'm sorry, Gira Gira used surf? Not, you know, my Blastoise. It's just because it's the first thing that can learn surf that was at the top, right? Yeah, okay, I was because for a second there I thought Jiffy couldn't learn surf and I was very, very, very concerned. Uh, let's go ahead, teach surf to Jiffy first of all, because obviously we're going to want that. Well, I say obviously, but I mean, it's not like we have a super bad water type move. Scald is actually somewhat viable. Somewhat. Very viable. It's very viable. It's a very good move. Uh, it might actually be worth just keeping Scald. I think I'm okay with keeping Scald. Gira Gira, on the other hand, can learn Surf as well. And I do find that very interesting. I don't know if it's necessarily coverage that I want. I can't think of many times I wouldn't go into my water type with Drizzle active to use water type moves. I did say I wanted another coverage move on Gera Gera, but I don't think that's it. I really don't. I do want to have another look at this uh, Warden, though. You are Rock Dragon still, obviously. Um, didn't really look like it changed all that much in terms of its appearance, so I didn't think it got a type change. Just decent stat increases. 100 attack. It's kind of hard to compare it against other things, but I mean, like, when it's fully evolved, I imagine it'll be higher than Joltalope for sure. I don't know if it'll be higher than Juniper or not. It is obviously still a lot of levels down, so we've got, like, 15 levels to try and make up for and try and predict how much it's going to get on evolution. It is a little bit difficult. Uh, I am also going to go and heal we can go ahead and do at the boathouse and then i guess we can just start exploring the the whole ocean huh i'm curious if there is any fake mon that are going to be immediately available in the ocean just to the side here we do have items just drifting about in the water that's kind of cool rather than having them as like hidden items on rocks everywhere instead they're just going to be like actually visible items i kind of like that um hi I have now got myself into a battle because I moved up trying to like go around him rather than just continuing to go to the right for some reason. And now we're going to have to battle the swimmer, huh? Yep, sure are. I can't breathe underwater. You don't say. You, you really, really, you can't? Weak. Weakness is what that is. Seeking, do you have lightning rod? Not going to find out. I'm just going to horn leech. One-shotting the sea king. That feels so different than hitting a Slowbro with a Rindo Berry. <laughs> it's a very different experience. And a Float Soul, which I'm just going to do the same thing to, because if we one-shot a Sea King, we probably one-shot the Float Soul. The Float Soul outspeeds Joltalope. Really? I mean, Float Soul's fast, don't get me wrong, but I thought Joltalope was fast as well. It has Jolt in its name. You know, it's like, like Bolt, like Zooming. 
Level 47 on Warden as well. Do you evolve again? You do just evolve again. Very quick, easy evolutions. I like that. And we have ourselves... What is your name? Dragoyle. Dragon Gargoyle. Okay. That one's pretty on the nose. Uh, trying to learn Rock Polish. I don't know how fast it is. Well, either way, I don't care if Dragon Pulse that much. We kind of clarified this before. Sure, we'll take Rock Polish. Why not? Hopefully, you are uh, a slow physical attacker. I have a lot of slow physical attackers in my arsenal. I really do. There is a lot of slow physical attackers. Dragoyle. Still Rock Dragon. 136 attack. And it is decently fast. It's a... Uh, Kind of just bulky on the physical side in general. Good defense, good attack. It's a uh, defense actually seems like it would be higher than its attack if its nature was changed. Because the only reason its attack is so high is because good IV is an adamant. So actually, this is probably a more defensive Pokemon. I wonder if it'll learn Roost because it has wings or anything like that. It is certainly interesting. Uh, that was kind of all I wanted to do with... Dragoyle, got to say it by its proper name now. I keep wanting to call it Gargon, because that's what I looked at before. Uh, there is no PC here for me to go ahead and change my team around. I want Uzma back on my team, so I'm going to go and grab my Uzma. All right, Uzma has been reacquired. I don't know how often it will be useful in these areas where we were swimming, but at the same time, I wanted to still make sure that it goes ahead and grabs some good XP in this area. I don't want it to fall too far behind, as it is a Pokemon that I am currently using on my team. At max repel on it's a uh, it's definitely a pokemon that i don't think i'm going to use permanently i still want to go ahead and use a lot of pokemon in this game like uh azumarill and a bunch of others what is this a Sharpedo. okay okay uh can i just run i can't run because this was one that might potentially chase i'm just gonna click horn leech it's a Sharpedo. it has like negative two defenses so goodbye Sharpedo. I was hoping it was going to be like a unique encounter going around there, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I do want to go ahead and change the team around a bit more. I'm still not done with it. But also, we are only five badges in, because as I've said at the start of this playthrough, there is a big level cap of 150 in this game. So we have a while until we are done. There were items in the chest. Water gem. Okay. Mind if I do? Five max repels. I like those. Water stone. Fitting for the area. Yellow shard. Okay. Okay. There is a trader uh, in... I don't remember which town, but there is a trader somewhere where you can trade shards to get eggs. Uh, that is that is one shard that we could hand in. I think you mostly get the shards from... Ooh. Uh, I think you mostly get the shards from mining, and I haven't done any mining, and I don't know if I will, because mining is kind of yucky. It's kind of yucky. It's, it, as far as the mini games in Pokemon go, it's one of the better ones, but also mini games in Pokemon can be a little bit yucky. Uh, a lot of our Pokemon can learn Thunderbolt. Gira Gira can learn Thunderbolt. I wanted to learn a good coverage move that's physical, but it is struggling with that. Uh, we could have Thunderbolt over Discharge, but again, it's kind of like the Surf versus Skull debate. It's like, I like having the 30% chance to paralyze things, actually. I want Thunder. If we find the Thunder TM, because it can now learn, it's learned Wild Charge, Discharge, Thunderbolt. There's no way it doesn't learn Thunder, which means Drizzle Thunder. And I want that. I want that really badly. I think Drizzle Thunder would be insane. So hopefully we can get ourselves Drizzle Thunder. Hopefully we can find ourselves Ice Beam at some point as well. That would be like the perfect coverage. I, I'm fine with keeping Typhoon. I think Typhoon is a good move. I just want all of our other moves to be a little bit better. I don't know if I'll have any, uh, well, I guess Typhoon is probably its signature move. Cross starter. That Hydro Pump animation looked kind of clean. I don't know if we've seen Hydro Pump before and I just wasn't paying attention, but that was a very pretty animation on that uh, sprighting, actually. It was very high quality for a Pokemon move. <laughs> <laughs> that was it's not very often they notice like the actual animation of a Pokemon move, but here we are. Uh Terraf Whack trying to learn reversal. Okay. Does have Scrappy. Do I care about False Swipe? 
Because reversal could be useful. We don't have any way to keep ourselves at 1 HP to, like, get a max 200 base power reversal. But if we get weak, and we can get, like, a 100 plus base power reversal because we're, like, below a quarter or whatever, that could be pretty good. And it would give us some coverage. However, realistically, what this fighting here it hits Rock Steel, which Bone Sweep hits. It's Normal, which we would be neutral against anyway, and we would win the neutral matchup because we Bone Sweep Sweep crit them. Uh... Ice. Realistically, this is just if we want to hit Ice types. Which actually isn't the coverage that we really need. I'm going to keep False Wipe. I think False Wipe is actually uh, more fitting than Reversal. I fought it out, and you know what? I don't think it's something that we need. What we do need is more TMs. Oh, we do have a way up here. What the... Is this different because it's faster? Hi. Are you still a Sharpedo? Still a Sharpedo. Dang, I thought maybe it was a different Pokemon because the speed was so different. But I was wrong. I was wrong. It's even weaker than the other one. It's not even like a stronger one that was going that fast. It's, it just has the zoomies. <laughs> Actually just has the zoomies. Okay, fine, fine. What do we have up? Okay, first of all, this is a path, right? East to Dune Drift Bay. Item. Sunstone. Okay. Uh, I am going to assume that this is the way that they want me to go. Oh, this takes us back towards the Dune Stone Oasis. Okay. Okay. Uh, we will definitely head down there, because I don't want to skip too much stuff. I still want to go down these paths, but I do want to check what's up here first. Not just because there was a mention of a shiny Lapras somewhere. That's definitely not the only reason, but also there's items. There's two whole reasons. We have up here, we have another item, another Max Repel. Don't mind if I do. Oh, we're now the other side of the Strength Boulder. So we didn't need the Strength Boulder to get up here. Hide Cliff Cave. Lapras? Hide Cliff Cave. Right, and I can't surf in caves? Is that actually confirmed? Oh my god, we actually can't surf in caves. That's crazy. That's an actual thing that they've added to the game? No surfing in caves? I guess... I was gonna say that lets them do more puzzles, but honestly, I think there'd be more puzzles if they let you surf in caves. Okay, left there is a ladder. What do we have on the right before we go down? Uh, we have an item over there. We have a trainer. Shoal Sol. Okay, yep, this is a good old Pokemon Emerald Cave right here. Love it. We have another item over here. Shoal Shell. There it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Gotta pair them together and all that. Uh, we have another trainer over here. You might not have water types, which means I can use Uzma. Everyone must see the light of day. Okay, there is more strength boulders in here. Makes me wonder if maybe I should come back here once I have... You're about to get crushed under these rocks. Uh, it makes me wonder if maybe I should have strength before I come here, considering there's strength outside and they're showing me a strength boulder here. But also, we can take a brief look around. I don't, see, I don't think there's any reason not to. That had a berry to weaken rock type moves. Didn't work out very well for him, did it? Sure didn't. Sure didn't work out well. Uh, Bone Sweep Sweep. We have so many things that are good against Rock, that every time a Rock-type Pokemon comes out, it's it's just flavor of the month. Which one do I want to use right now to bonk this thing? Sturdy, gross. Stone Edge, that's going to do two damage. 21! Terraflack, you can't be taking that much damage from a Nose Pass, okay? You can't, it's it's a compass. You can't take that much damage from a compass. That's bad. And layer on, which, to be honest, I'm just going to do the same thing. I am afraid of Metal Burst. I'm going to click the move anyway, but I am afraid of Metal Burst. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Weakness Policy Lair on. Iron Tail. Weakness Policy. Not Metal Burst. Interesting. See, Metal Burst Laron is a very funny gimmick on Pokemon Showdown because no one expects it. 
not a single person sees a layer on and connects it to anything in their mind. They just see a layer on and they go, oh, I can take that out easily. And then they lose this Weeper. It's really funny. It's almost like uh, a sillier version of using a Choice Scarf Ditto to counter things that are set up. It's, it's really stupid. <laughs> it's a really stupid strategy, but I'll tell you what, it works. Uh, we have another item over here, a damn rock. This place is full of goodies that are pretty easy to get to, which I appreciate. Okay, that puts us on this side. We can just keep going up. There is another floor below us. There is the... Fisherman. Uh, TM35 Flamethrower. That is coverage that we don't have right now. Can anyone learn Flamethrower? Oh, I'm saying that's coverage we don't have right now because I was thinking before we put Uzma back on the team. Terraflack can learn it, though. I was thinking Gira Gira might be able to learn it. Um, I don't know why. It, it doesn't look like it'd be able to use Flamethrower, but... Uh, yeah, okay, fine. We have five punch. I was completely forgetting. Is there an item on this top corner? No. And we can't surf over to him. Weird. It's really weird. Um, okay. Let's just go check down below. Is that the only place I haven't been now? What do we have down here? We can access the lower ladder because there was that one cave that wouldn't let us go lower because it was like the heat from below is stopping you. But we can go lower. I got lost taking a walk on the beach. We are a good bit from the beach. That means one of her Pokemon has to know strength or else I am calling her out on it. Which one of your Pokemon has strength? That Sucker Punch actually did a lot of damage. It did crit, which is why it did so much damage, but ow. Don't double crit me. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, actually, if it has Night Slash, <laughs> it probably just outspeed speed me, but it didn't. The Zoomeril. Well, that probably has strength, actually. Okay, I, I believe her. I believe her. No matter which Azumarill it is, Jiffy kind of works. Either we discharge the Water Type 1 if it even exists in this game, which, to be honest, I don't think it does, or we Scald it in the rain and we annihilate it. Yep, it is in fact the rock fighting type one, which I do want to put mine back on my team because it has huge power and it was very strong and very good. I do want to. Also, I want to use everything. And this is a problem I have. I had this problem the most probably in Pal World. I wanted to use everything in Pal World. Which, speaking of Pal World, that got a big update notification just yesterday talking about how Skull might have actually been stronger in the rain compared to this Aurora Beam. Scald might have KO'd, um, but they did have a big update where they brought out... Sorry, I need to word this carefully before people <laughs> go and watch the game. They announced a future update, okay? They're, the update is not out yet, but they announced a future update where they're going to be bringing in raid battles. So it is not out yet, but they announced the idea all right so it's nothing to be too excited about it's not like it came out yesterday or anything so don't go launching the game like oh i'm gonna go play it uh but they did announce their like next update plan which i will probably go back and do i will probably go back and do the raid i might try and do the raid solo because i just enjoy games like that solo just in general um so i'll, I'll probably try and give it a go solo but we'll see we'll see if uh, it is impossible solo, or you can't do it unless you were on a server with multiple people, which I can't imagine they would do. But if that is the case, maybe I'll figure something else out. Uh, this is Rock Smash Ball, which means there's another path down this way, huh? For a mining kit. Okay. Is there a place where I can mine in here, or is it just that one cave in Echo Rock? I feel like everything is in Echo Rock. But yeah, any excuse for me to play Power World again, I will be there. Uh, hello, fisherman. A helix fossil. That's what I came all the way in here for, a helix fossil. It's kind of funny. I can't fish here, but I do enjoy being able to reflect on my life. Get it? Because of the reflection in the water? Whatever. Anyway, want me to teach Aqua Tail to one of your Pokemon so you can forget about my failed joke. I would like to forget. Um, the only one that can learn is Jiffy, though, and Jiffy has Wise Glasses Skull, so... No, thank you. And I should be able to just escape rope out of here because I picked one of those up in here to remember that they actually exist because I've definitely used those uh, so often in my playthroughs. 
so so often. <laughs> so often that I know exactly where they are in amongst all of my other items right here. Like I know that it's right right here, right here, right. Where is it? Oh, I went straight past them before. Ahem, yeah, I use escape ropes so often. Yeah, there we go. See, look at that. Okay, but I do think that is a good place to wrap things up for today. We did Tidecliff Cave and we got ourselves our water type badge. We can go ahead and surf. I might take a little bit of a moment to surf around some other areas where we've already been before to look for like potential TMs and stuff. As I know, there have been a, a lot of surf points that we have just ran straight through, and there's probably like some chests to pick up and stuff like that. So I might do a little bit of that off screen, and then next time we will head to Dune Drift Bay, which was just to the left of here. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and if I ever do, 